going on guys <clears throat> uh, project today tonight tonight buddy of mine his uh, gen 2 motor messed up on him he wanted to do somewhat of a, of a budget build get it back together uh, it's a Whipple car I had suggested a trick out of Manuel's book from midnight performance to go with a gen 3 short block as they're filthy cheap from the dealership compared to a either a Gen 2 long block, illuminator, or even a rebuilt motor. I think they retail for, I don't know, 2,500 bucks or something like that roughly, plus a core or so, something like that. They're cheap. So anyways, <clears throat> have the motor here. I'm putting it together. I already got, already got his, old uh, his old motor torn down. I'm gonna start putting together the Gen 3 motor. Why the Gen 3? I did get the idea from from Manual at Midnight. Uh, they've they've done it on multiple cars. I think Gen 2s and even Gen 1s. Of course, you get the higher compression, and the cars are holding hella power, 800 plus, uh, with with no problem. You know, good tuning wise at least. It's an all-around budget build, and it should it should hold whatever power he throws at it, at least with the Whipple, and for what he does with it. So. Uh, go ahead and show you the block. Alright, we got the. Here's the block. Nothing crazy or special. I already got, I already got the head gaskets on there. Um, the only issue that we think we're going to have uh, that we didn't really think about, and I believe, I believe the guys called and asked Manuel, and from my understanding, he doesn't, he didn't really know because the cars that he's done on have been turbo cars so that being to, to let you know the problem the gen 2 knock sensors of course go right here the gen 3 are well obviously these are you got your knock sensors well the gen 3 motors the whipples and edelbrocks and all those superchargers the intercooler the intercooler is on top not on the bottom like the way the, the Gen 2 Coyote setups are. <clears throat> so once I get the heads on, I'm gonna have to see if the lower manifold and you know intercooler is gonna uh, miss these uh, knock sensors. Obviously not, not the sensors themselves, they're gonna be gone and the Gen 2s are gonna go in place, but these little pedestals right here, not quite sure yet if, if it's gonna clear. If it doesn't, then maybe we might have to might have to grind them down a little bit but I do have he brought he brought me the the lower so you know I, ha I have the lower here so it's not a problem so yeah like I said gotta get the heads on and then I'll be able to see I'll be able to see if it's gonna work out or not all right I got both heads on it looks like we're gonna looks like we're gonna be good with the clearance uh, I'll get the get the lower intake manifold on right now, and and we'll really be able to tell. All right, so put the intake on, and it is not sitting flush. Uh, the lower in, lower part of the intake is hitting right there. You can you can see um, the little pedestal for the the knock sensor on both sides and, and even on the front so I'm gonna have to uh, grind them down some to create some clearance see if we can close up this gap so this intake will fit all right so I didn't have a, a grinder that was good enough to grind down those pedestals <coughs> uh, but the owner of the car and motor did so uh, he took the motor home he grinded down the pedestals himself um, and so there's some pictures of that he got the car fired up there's a little little clip of that
ever since then. He's been he's been cruising around, has a couple hundred miles on it already, so everything seemed to work out just fine. No issues so far, and at least up to this moment right now, I'm not I'm not sure if it's been back on the dyno yet or when it will get back on the dyno. Everything worked out good. So the Gen 3 short block, of course the Gen 2 heads just had to grind down the pedestals and it allowed the the lower intake to sit for that generation of, of Whipple superchargers. So all in all, pretty good little situation, nice little budget build. And for anyone else that's out there that might wanna put themselves a, a decent little short block on a budget, then that's a good way to go. Again, I guess shout out to Manuel at Midnight Performance. That's as far as I know, he was I think the first one to do something like that. <clears throat> and of course he shares it on his social media, so a lot of people got to see it. I gave it a shot. It worked out just fine. So I guess that's pretty much it. Till next time guys.